everybody, welcome back to our channel. This is Kano from Gaijin Bank, and today we'll be talking about things that only exist in Japan. So stay tuned for the best video of your life. Number one, square melons. You've probably seen this before on Instagram or something like that. I know I have, like five years ago, and everyone was like, what? Um, so they have these square melons. Uh, they've trained the melon to be in this shape so they can store it uh, easier. Number two, flavored Kit Kats. You've probably seen some weird flavored Kit Kats that you've never seen in your own country. You're like, okay, I've only seen chocolate. What, are, what is this? So I'd love to read some out to you and see what you think. So green tea matcha, my personal favorite. Strawberry Japanese sake, in case you, know, you don't want to just drink sake, you just want to eat a flavored Kit Kat sake. Uh, purple sweet potato. Red bean sandwich, a sandwich flavored Kit Kat, interesting. Wasabi, that's spicy. Hojicha, which is a tea, uh, on the yummy. Rum, raisin, apple, momiji manju. Yes, uh, very distinct flavors. Uh, what's your favorite Kit Kat flavor? Comment down below. Number three, capsule hotels. So if you're a claustrophobic fella, you probably do not even want to be in this hotel at all because it's just like there's, you're in like a cell with a TV and everything you need, but you're, you're just kind of like this and you share the bathroom and such on a different floor. It's very, very popular for the average business person. It's just somewhere to sleep until the next business day. Number four, vending machines. My personal favorite. There's vending machines for everything, first of all. There's vending machines selling snacks and like proactive and stuff like that. But um, mainly, <laughs> drinks. So I heard that for every 25 people in the whole country, there's one vending machine. That's crazy. There's so many vending machines, especially because there's so many people in Japan. But they say a Japanese person uh, will never be dehydrated. So that's really good. Number five, adopting adults. Yes, you're usually used to adopting, I don't know, children, babies, teens, but no, in Japan, especially big companies like Toyota or Suzuki, when they don't have any sons to carry on their business, they adopt grown men, yes, because they don't want to pass over their company to a stranger. Number six, free tissues, yay! I've actually never seen this in another country. It's it's so proactive to put something useful with your advertisement because people will always look at it when you use it. And who doesn't need free tissues? Free tissues for everyone. Number eight, a sink over the toilet tank or the toilet tank. Um, you'll see when you flush the toilet, you'll have the clean water going in to fill up the water that you use to flush, which is genius. Why not use that water to wash your hands? Sometimes I think it's funny because they have that great technology, but nobody puts the soap, so you're like, okay, let me just rinse my hands really quick. But you know, it's really, really smart. Number nine, gachapong or gachapong. It's these little machines you put like a, not a quarter, but like yakun or something like that. You turn it and you get like a surprise uh, toy or keychain. It's really, really fun if you're into that and collecting all that. Number 11, umbrella parking lot. So when you enter hospitals or big, big businesses on a rainy day, you'll see little slots for your umbrella and a key. So if you're, you know, worried about someone taking your personal umbrella, uh, that doesn't happen because you have the key. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, please comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.